This is a reading of the Martyrdom of Justin. Please see more information in the video's description. If you haven't already, see the video about Justin Martyr. If you would like to download a copy of the original translation of the Martyrdom of Justin, there is a link in the description. In the time of the lawless supporters of idolatry, wicked laws were passed against the godly Christians in town and country to force them to offer drink offerings to vain idols. Accordingly, when these holy men were apprehended, they were brought before the prefect of Rome, Rusticus by name. When they had been brought before his judgment seat, he said to Justin, Obey the gods at once, and submit to the kings. Justin said, Obedience to the commandments of our Savior Jesus Christ is not worthy of blame nor condemnation. Rusticus the prefect said, What kind of doctrines do you acknowledge? Justin said, I have endeavored to learn all doctrines, but I have yielded at last in the true doctrines, namely those of the Christians, even though they do not please those who hold false opinions. Rusticus the prefect said, Are those the doctrines that please you, you utterly wretched man? Justin said, Yes, since I adhere to them with right belief. Rusticus the prefect said, What is the belief? Justin said, According to this belief, we worship the God of the Christians, whom we reckon to be one from the beginning, the maker and fashioner of the whole creation, visible and invisible, and also the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was preached beforehand by the prophets that he was about to be present with the race of men. He is the herald of salvation and teacher of good disciples. Being a man myself, I think that what I can say is insignificant in comparison with his boundless divine nature. He acknowledged a certain prophetic power, since it was prophesied about him that he is the Son of God. For I know that in old times the prophets foretold his appearance among men. Rusticus the prefect said, Where do you assemble? Justin said, Where each one chooses and can. For do you fancy that we all meet in the very same place? This is not so because the God of the Christians is not limited by place, but being invisible, he fills heaven and earth. Everywhere he is worshipped and glorified by the faithful. Rusticus the prefect said, Tell me where you assemble or into what place you gather your followers. Justin said, I live above one named Martinus, at the Timothean bath. During the whole time I have lived in Rome, and I am now living in Rome for the second time, I am unaware of any other meeting than his. If anyone wanted to come to me, I shared with him the doctrines of truth. Rusticus said, Are you not a Christian then? Justin said, Yes, I am a Christian. Then said the prefect Rusticus to Cheriton, Tell me further, Cheriton, are you also a Christian? Cheriton said, I am a Christian by the command of God. Rusticus the prefect asked the woman, Charito, What say you, Charito? Charito said, I am a Christian by the grace of God. Rusticus said to Euulpistus, And what are you? Euulpistus, who was a servant of Caesar, answered, I too am a Christian, having been freed by Christ. By the grace of Christ, I partake of the same hope. Rusticus the prefect said to Hierax, And you, are you a Christian? Here Acts said, Yes, I am a Christian, for I revere and worship the same God. Rusticus the prefect said, Did Justin make you Christians? Here Acts said, I was a Christian and will be a Christian. Paeon stood up and said, I am a Christian too. Rusticus the prefect said, And who taught you? Paeon said, From our parents we received this good confession. Eulpistus said, I willingly heard the words of Justin, but from my parents also I learned to be a Christian. Rusticus the prefect said, Where are your parents? Eulpistus said, In Cappadocia. Rusticus said to Hierax, Where are your parents? He answered and said, Christ is our true father, and faith in him is our mother. My earthly parents died. When I was driven from Aconium in Phrygia, I came here. Rusticus the prefect said to Librianus, 
And what say you? Are you a Christian and unwilling to worship the gods? Liberiana said, I too am a Christian, for I worship and revere the only true God. The prefect said to Justin, Listen, you who are called learned, and think you know true doctrines. If you are scourged and beheaded, do you believe you will ascend into heaven? Justin said, I hope that, if I endure these things, I shall have his gifts. For I know that, within all who have lived this way, the divine favor waits until the completion of the whole world. Rusticus the prefect said, Then do you assume that you will ascend into heaven to receive some reward? Justin said, I do not assume it, but I know and am fully persuaded of it. Rusticus the prefect said, Let us now come to the pressing matter at hand. Having come together, offer sacrifice with one accord to the gods. Justin said, No right-thinking person falls away from piety to impiety. Rusticus the prefect said, Unless you all obey, you all shall be mercilessly punished. Justin said, We can be saved through prayer on account of our Lord Jesus Christ, even when we have been punished, because this shall be to us salvation and confidence, compared to the more fearful and universal judgment seat of our Lord and Savior. Then the other martyrs also said, Do what you will, for we are Christians, and do not sacrifice to idols. Rusticus the prefect pronounced sentence, saying, Let those be scourged who have refused to sacrifice to the gods and to yield to the command of the emperor. Let them be led away to suffer the punishment of decapitation according to the laws. Having glorified God, the holy martyrs went forth to the assigned place and were beheaded. They perfected their testimony in the confession of the Savior. Some of the faithful secretly removed their bodies and laid them in a suitable place, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ having worked along with them. To Him be glory forever and ever. Amen.